Welcome to the High School Football Pigskin Show. I'm your host, Michael Anderson. On a cool November night, my travels take me to Westlake High School, and when I got here, it was simply a magnificent high school atmosphere. Watch how the players warm up. Ball first and 10. Westlake begins the possession at their own 25 yard line. Westlake has drove the ball to the 50 yard line. They appear to be running the ball well against Lowndes. Nine minutes and 35 seconds in the first quarter. 
on West 6, 45 yard line. Back deep They're forced to punt the punt ball. For, that punt for Lowndes County number. First possession for Lowndes. For nine minutes, 24 seconds, Lowndes take possession at their own 13 yard line. Number 71. For Lowndes County's first possession, they fumble the ball. Westlake picks the ball up and runs Ashton in the end zone Beaver. for a Westlake touchdown. Nine minutes and 12 seconds in the first quarter. 77. Lowndes County will be starting the first possession from their own 36 yard line. Number 8 minutes and 21 seconds left in the first quarter, Lowndes is forced to punt the ball. It appears that Lowndes have a difficult time running the ball. Six minutes and 39 seconds left in the first quarter. What's that? And out of the hands of Adrian Bryant, number 16. From their own 14 yard line. The Lowndes fails to convert and turn the ball over to the Westlake. Westlake starting off from their own 30 yard line. Number 33. Big loss. Lowndes takes over at their own 37 yard line. The Lowndes quarterback is sacked. He loses about a good 10 yards. It appears that Westlake speed is giving Lowndes trouble. Stop the Westlake. The two minutes Dick. and 13 seconds left. The Lowndes throws a screen pass. And, and it is Lowndes first down. Lowndes picks up the first down. Lowndes is now on their own. The mean first and 10 from the 50 yard line. From the 50 yard line. Lowndes is moving the ball on Westlake. Picked up more than enough for the first down for the Vikings, folks. Lowndes picks up another first down. They're driving the ball on Westlake. And they're on Westlake's 39-yard line. Lowndes is forced to punt the ball. <laughs> Westlake begins their possession on their own 7-yard line. And it's a Westlake! First down! <laughs> Second quarter, Westlake picks up the first down. Westlake picks up another first down. They're steadily moving the ball down the field. They're close to midfield now. There's seven minutes and 51 seconds left in the second quarter. 45. Westlake picks up another huge game. It appears that Lowndes have a difficult time. Stop We're looking at second and one. Westlake. More. It's another first down for Westlake. Six minutes. He goes down at the 35. Second quarter. First down, Westlake. They move the ball down to Lowndes' 36-yard line. Five. And it's another Westlake first down. Westlake gets another first down. They're on Lowndes' 15-yard line. Five minutes and 16 seconds It's fourth down and three. The West Lake is electing to kick a field goal. With two minutes and 50 seconds left in the second quarter. West Lake will attempt a field goal. Oh, 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 Got flags on that play, folks. Penalty. Westlake may get a first down. They were getting ready to kick a field goal. Outside the against the Vikings. Outside. So, and so Westlake, Westlake first down. The first down, and they're in the red zone of Lowndes. Knocking on the door. They're on Lowndes' four-yard line. With two minutes and 36 seconds left in the second quarter. Now we're looking at first and goal Westlake for the Lions. Minutes and 24 seconds left. Westlake scores a touchdown. Westlake will attempt the extra point. The halftime score was 14 0. Westlake up. It appeared that Westlake was dominating the football game, both offensively and defensively. But hold up, folks. That wasn't the final chapter of this football game because those doggone Vikings came out at locker room in the second half with their hair on fire. 
It's the beginning of the second half, and Lyles receives the ball. Well, Lyles, opening play, quarterback fumbles the ball after he's sacked, and Westlake recovers deep inside the Lyles red zone. 20 seconds. In the third quarter, where Westlake goes up for another score with the score Westlake 21, Lowndes County 0. You heard it. Westlake 21, Lowndes County 0. 10 minutes, 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Well, Lowndes County just fumbled the ball again, and Westlake recovered. Uh, looks like Westlake will take the ball over on the 33-yard line of Lounge with 10 minutes and 3 seconds left in the third quarter. Another turnover by Lounge. The field goal is blocked. Lounge picks it up and runs the ball all the way to the Westlake. Picked up by number 92 for Lounge County. All the way to their own 35-yard line. Lounge lines up, they get it. And number four, oh boy, number four is going all the way. Oh goodness gracious, number four, touchdown Lounge. Touchdown Lounge. After a fourth and one, after a fourth and one, Lounge hands the ball off to number four up the middle. Looks like just punt the ball to Lounge County. And they take over on their own 15 yard line with a minute and 37 seconds left in the third quarter. Lowndes County 7. It's the end of the third quarter. Third line. Lowndes County gets intercepted with Westlake pass. Lowndes County picks up the first down. They're on the move. They're marching the ball on Westlake. County picks up another first down. Picked up another first down. They marched Come on, call down Westlake. to about the 38 yard line of Westlake. They call it a touchdown. Lowndes County just County threw a in the long corner. ball pass to Jenkins for a Lowndes County touchdown. Three seconds left in the fourth quarter. First down with four minutes, 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 50 yards for the touchdown. Miles County is through a pass. The receiver ran 50 yards for a touchdown. All four minutes, 20 seconds left. Another Lowndes touchdown. Miles County, like I said, is coming back. Left in the ball game with the score. Was late 21. Lowndes County 21. Well, folks, it's all tied up. 21 all. Four minutes, 20 seconds left in the third quarter. It's a tie ball game. Lowndes kicks the ball off to Westlake, and they take possession at their own 24-yard line. Westlake drives the ball all the way down to Lowndes' red zone, where they will attempt a field goal. Well, Westlake uh, is fourth down at about eight. Um, they're still in the red zone of Lounge. Looks like they're going to be going for a uh, field goal to run the game. Two seconds left in the fourth quarter. Lounge just called a timeout to ice the kicker. Ray kicked the field goal with two seconds left. The final score was 24 21. Westlake wins the ball game. The big upset. Westlake wins. Defeated Lane, the last.
Wow, what an epic high school football game. Both teams need to be commended for their outstanding performance. It looked like Westlake was dominating in the first half, and then Lowndes in the second half just came back and tied the ball game up. And then, of course, Westlake won it with that field goal. Great game. Today, I'd like to discuss the 4A playoff brackets through the 7A playoff brackets. We'll start off with the 4A brackets. It looks like Cartersville will face Mary Persons in the semifinals. I'm going to go with Cartersville. Um, on the other side of the bracket, Jefferson will take on Thompson. I'm going to go with Thompson on that one. Moving over to the 5A brackets, it looks like Starbridge will take on Rome. I'm going to go with Rome in that particular matchup. On the other side of the bracket, uh, Buford's taking on Kale. I'm going to go with Buford on that side. Moving over to the 6A brackets. It looks like Tucker will be taking on Northside Warner Robins. This is a very good matchup and a very hard uh, game to judge, I guess. Uh, but I'm going to go with Tucker. I'm not going to sleep on Tucker. I'm going to go with them to win that one. On the other side of the bracket, looks like Valosta is taking on Dalton. I'm going with Valosta. Uh, I'm not going to sleep on Valosta. I'm going with them to win that particular matchup. And moving over to the largest bracket, the 7A bracket, very good matchups. Looks like an uh, all Metro Atlanta matchup on both sides of the bracket. Looks like Roswell will take on Westlake. I picked against Westlake three times, and of course I was wrong. Um, this one, um, Roswell is so talented, it's hard to pick against Roswell. So I'm going to go with Roswell in this matchup. Um, on the other side of the bracket, Grayson faces Mill Creek. Very, very good match. Very close um, team so far as um, the talent and so forth. Um, of course, Grayson probably has a little bit more talent. Um, I, I'm going to have to go with Grayson on this one. Um, it's a hard game to judge again, um, but I'm going to go with Grayson. Well, that's all I have for you folks. Until next time, take care and God bless. Take me to your foot all day.